everybody. We are back today with Brandy of Brandy Burrow Astrology. And we were doing, you know, we try to do themes or try to match in some way. And since Christmas is, we'll be uploading these what on, on Christmas Eve? On Christmas Eve. <laughs> on Christmas perfect. Eve. So yeah, perfect for this, for this theme. Um, We wanted to both look at cases that took place around Christmas. So go to Brandy's channel. You'll check out what she has. Here on this channel, though, we're going to be talking today about the astrology surrounding the disappearance of the Sodder children. This case is fucking weird. <laughs> and it's old. Um, this happened on December 25th, 1945 in Fayetteville, uh, West Virginia. <clears throat> and essentially, uh, George and Jeannie, I believe that's how it's, is it Jeannie or Jenny? I thought it was Jeannie, but. I apologize in advance if I'm not pronouncing, if I don't pronounce it. was a long time ago. So. It was a long time ago. But from what I understand, this family is still active with, um, like the descendants are are still somewhat active with trying to figure out what happened. So if anybody comes across this and I'm not pronouncing something correctly, I apologize. No disrespect meant. Um, <laughs> but um, this this case is this case is a weird one. They uh, This family... That they all went to bed. The kids stayed up a little bit later. They're nine children, nine kids. And some of them stayed up a little bit later than the parents. On Christmas Eve, right? Like on Christmas Eve, yeah. They okay. celebrated Christmas on Christmas Eve or celebrated something. I don't know if they celebrated Christmas in totality, but they celebrated something on Christmas <laughs> Eve. <laughs> you <Gotcha>. know. <clears throat> they go to bed. And the Wikipedia is kind of confusing about this because it makes it seem like, like I had to check with Brandy. I was like, am I getting these fucking dates right? <laughs> because I couldn't <laughs> tell if like if this actually happened on Christmas Eve or on Christmas Day. It's actually on Christmas Day early in the morning. Yeah, because they say they were celebrating Christmas Eve and then they say later on at 1 a.m. on Christmas Eve. So it's like, yeah, it's actually, it's, yeah. yeah, it's actually the next day. Yeah, I was kind of like, um, am I looking at this right? <laughs> <laughs> but um. So they so they go to bed after celebrating on Christmas Eve. Um now Jenny or Jeannie wakes up around midnight getting a phone call. Um this is weird. It was a phone call that let's see on Wikipedia it says the telephone rang at 12:30 a.m. She woke up and went downstairs to answer it. The caller was a woman whose voice she did not recognize, asking for a name she was not familiar with, with the sound of laughter and clinking glasses in the background. Um, hmm. Jeannie or Jenny told the caller that she had reached a wrong number, later recalling the woman's weird laugh. She hung up and returned to bed. As she did, she noticed the lights were still on and the curtains were not drawn, two things that children normally attend to when they stayed up later than their parents. But it doesn't sound like she actually saw any of the kids when she woke up from the phone call, just that it looked like things hadn't been handled like they normally would have been. Um, so that's kind of that that phone call shit's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Then um at 1 a.m., so like 30 minutes later, she wakes up again to uh the sound of an object hitting the house house's roof with a loud bang and then a and then a rolling noise like rolling off the roof went back to sleep then around 1 30 she wakes up again smelling smoke uh when she got up again she found that the room george used for his office was on fire around the telephone line and fuse box uh she woke him and then in turn woke the older sons now the kids who had stayed up later um i believe one was the oldest of the bunch was 14 and the youngest was well, her, their youngest child was actually with her. Um, she was like two or three at the time, Sylvia. She actually was, she, she was so little. She was with, she was with her parents. Um, but I can't, I can't find it exactly how the youngest, oldest one of the kids was like, I think in the attic was 14. The youngest was six. So five kids from those ages, they were all up there. And so once the, once they realize this fire's going on, <clears throat> four of the kids and the parents get out of the house. The The stairs, the way that I understand it, the stairs to the attic were on fire. So they couldn't get to the attic to get the kids out. 
they try to go they try to get an go to a ladder that's usually on the side of a ha- on the side of their house ladder's not there kind of weird happens to not be there when it always is so we're going to try to i guess go through a window an attic window so this house burns essentially now around 10 a.m once everything is stopped burning they don't find any bodies or any remains or anything like that in the attic so it's kind of like but the kids are gone these five kids are gone and it's like where the fuck did they go now some people have theorized or, or said at the time that the fire was so hot that all of the remains were just burned up i i don't know if that's i mean i i don't know i'm not i don't know that much about fucking fires but I, usually there's something that kind of remains and we're talking five people we're not just talking one we're talking five so it's kind of and, weird. and how long was the fire going before it was put out is that available or that i'm not 100 percent sure of but from what i did read it did sound like it wasn't they made it seem like it wasn't burning super long. Somebody, if you know more about this case than I do, can correct me if I'm wrong about that. But from what I understand, like the language that, that's used, it seems like it wasn't burning a super, super long time. So there, excuse me for being graphic. So if it wasn't burning like super long time, and do you know, was there gasoline and any type of chemicals? I mean, you would think there'd still be skeletal remains. Yeah. Yeah. And as far as the chemicals go, I don't remember reading anything about that, um, that they seem to think that it was a, a, an electrical fire Mm -hmm. Um, at the time. Anyway, though, there have been people that have kind of said that's not really the case down the, you know, as, as years have gone on and kind of, you know, anyway, weird fucking case, really tragic. I mean, I, five five children just it's like they just vanished now the parents don't seem to think that they actually died in the fire the family doesn't seem to think they died in the fire from what i understand um where they went though it's kind of like nobody knows (laughs) um that's where ancestry dna would be very fascinating to see if there's like you know what i mean like if if they survived went on to reproduce You know, and it's not now everyone's submitting DNA. If there's some kind of like, oh, where's this line of the family going? I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. No, it, it would it would be very, very, very interesting to see if anything like happened to, yeah. If and if there true. hasn't been any type of like links, maybe they did perish, you know? Yeah. Huh. Okay. She was Brandy's thinking out loud thoughts. Oh no, 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 absolutely no. That that yeah, that would be actually very interesting. I'm not sure if they've done anything like that. Hmm. And if they have it, they, uh, that would be a, a cool thing for them to investigate. Can you all, can you see all of this? Uh, I can see you getting ready to click on a photo. There we go. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you can see my pictures that I have there. Cool. I don't yes. know what the hell is there. Uh, I saw me. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> Some kind of YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you see this? Okay. Yes, fire at Sodder House, uh, December 25th, 1945 at 1.30 a.m. in Fayetteville. Yes. Yes. Okay, but you can you can see this whole thing. I Perfectly, yes. Okay, cool. It's not too small? Okay. No. Oh. I'm on a big old Mac desktop. It's huge for me, but I, it, it seems to fill the screen nicely. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> okay. So this is the chart for 1.30 a.m. Uh, when they, when she first, um, notice that the house was burning um what stands out to you bam libra ascendant like very common with multiple victims yes you know uh we're still kind of the beginning of looking at this so i'm you know curious to see if it shows death or or running away or something but definitely um multiple victims here being ruled by uh, Venus and Sagittarius in that third house, uh-huh. right by the South Node and visiting with the Sun. It's not with an orb, but visiting the Sun. It's also very close to the GC. 
mm-hmm. which I'm wondering ties in with the weirdness of this at all. Um, and we tend to see that, don't we? When something's just weird or like, this makes no sense. That GC. Yes, it does. Plan it does. <laughs> yes. And just to be clear for anybody that's got planets conjunct the GC in your chart, I'm not saying that. <laughs> You're not like, weird. I have a lot of them. I have a lot of them too. I don't know though. I might not always make sense. So they're. <laughs> but I think you make perfect sense, Ali. Well, good. Yes. But it, but in these, in these charts though, yeah, there, there is sort of a thing where you kind of notice that I kind of, yeah, it's like, hmm, this does tend to come into play when things are just really strange or, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's really strange, you know, um, and, and that 10th house is getting my attention too, because we got Pluto, we got Mars, we got Saturn, we got like the three, well, at least Mars and Saturn, malefics, right? And Pluto tends to be pretty destructive. We got two of them in a fire sign. I mean, we got Saturn in a detriment, like that's intense. <laughs> it is. And it's like, um. We saw this recently. We did. I was thinking like, we just saw this lineup. Um, <laughs> which one was that? I don't remember. I feel stupid for not remembering, but I don't remember. But we saw it recently and it was, was it Marvin Gaye. Yes. Okay. Marvin yes. Gaye. Yes. Shot <laughs> by his just, father in the family home. Yes. Yes. And it just, it, <laughs> it feels, I mean, yeah, this just, uh, hmm, I look at that and I'm like, mm. I mean, again, no offense to anybody that's got this in their natal chart. I'm not talking shit, but in a chart like this, you know, it's not. Forensic astrology kind of brings, I don't want to say different rules, but different energies in like a natal chart. Yes. Yeah. This could be very powerful in the natal chart. I could see where, you know, but no, in forensic, this is like, this is intense. This is destructive. This is violent. Yes. Okay. And it's in the 10th house, you know, that's what I'm trying to make of this. Like in the 10th house, that's so public. It's like the outside world. It's, it's um, also how police handle the case or, you know, the authorities. Um. And we also have Mars, which is the ruler of that seventh house. It's, yeah. You know, there are theories. Okay. So I guess, okay. So George Sauter was originally from Italy. And he, okay. he he came over here when he was, I think, 13 or 14. <clears throat> and he, he had a different last name. His last name was a little different. He changed it when he came over, you know, um, Americanized, if you will. And this was around World War II. And I guess he was very, very outspoken about Mussolini. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. And I, and I guess the community that they lived in, um, primarily from what I understand people, it was primarily, um, Italian Americans. And I guess his comments about Mussolini pissed some of them off. I guess so. Um, so there is a, there is a theory that somebody could have within the community could have been pissed off about what he what he was saying about Mussolini and started the fire and perhaps kidnapped the children. Let me tell you something. That theory in this chart makes sense when you got that ruler of the children here in the third house where neighborhoods are found or community, you know, close by communities. Yes. And a fire sign, you know, um, that might be valid. Yeah. I, I could. Yeah. And there's also something, you know, that, that 10th house, right. Can tie into like, also, I mean, like just generally speaking, the 10th house can be like authority. It can be government rulers, this kind of stuff. Right. So I yeah. could see how somebody might get, and, and, and we've got, we've got, <laughs> we've got Saturn in Saturn and cancer. <laughs> it just seems it, it feels pissy. It's not a Saturn-y sign at all. <laughs> you know, it's, no, it's it, a detriment, you know, but it's, it's, yeah. It feels pissy. Like it feels pissy here and close to that. And I know there are different signs, but it's close to that Mars, which is the ruler of that seventh house. And it's like, yeah, they're, I, they're within eight degrees. I mean, 
Yeah. I mean, yeah, it just it feels like I don't know. I could see somebody have been being pissed off here. And pissy. <laughs> And we also have that sun and Capricorn in the third house visiting here. So, you know, there another indication, something about, you know, Capricorn government leadership or yeah. views on that. So, yeah. This, yeah, it just kind of, when I, when I, when I read that, I'm like, because to me, like this chart, when we have another one to look at too, right? The 10 AM one, when they kind of realize they don't see the bodies, they, they don't find any remains, nothing. But this chart does not scream death to me. No, the only thing which I was trying to pick out, where's death in this chart? You know, um, the eighth house does have the same ruler, Venus. It does. Still, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't say that necessarily means they're dead. And the moon is sitting on the 12th house cusp, which is yes. lost, but that could be lost like a disappearance or an abduction. It's not necessarily screaming death either i mean i maybe if it was seated a little bit further in the house but yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm not sold i'm not sold on them being dead you know also i will say this though i'm not sold on them being dead here but i do wonder if it happened afterwards and i say that because like you mentioned like you know you've got this you've got this moon right on the you know, close to the 12th house. Right. And you've got Uranus, which would be the, you know, with the, with the kids. I mean, obviously we want to use this, but also with children, you know, the, the fifth house mm -hmm. with Aquarius on the cusp, Uranus is like right by the eighth. It is. There's it is, something yeah. about the proximity of while they're not like in those houses, they're close. Is it coming? Is it like, okay, they didn't perish on the fire. Yeah. Late, yeah I'm very curious to see the next chart because there is something about these rulers getting ready to enter death houses which okay you know according to horary rules these are already starting to enter you know they're within three degrees or less so yeah maybe should we take a look at the um at the other one I'm dying to see it <laughs> okay I've already seen it but I want to see it again <laughs> Okay, what am I doing? Sorry, people. Everybody's got to bear with me because I got this computer and I'm still. <laughs> and it's very nice. I'm loving the production here, Ellie. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I could have named this something better. So, <laughs> so I'm sorry. I should. I might have. No I'm bones now. Having a little bit to drink when I named that. I probably could have named it something better. I apologize. The official name of this chart is no bones found. <laughs> I, I sorry if anybody I, I apologize. I should, um, but <laughs> there there is there is this chart for 10 a.m. <laughs> when yeah, when they realize there's there's no remains. Okay, here's the thing. I'm gonna try not to make this confusing. I, I'm thinking out loud in the moment. We've already had Venus go from the third house up through the 12th, now through the 11th. We now have the moon just like shy of the eighth. Yes. Exiting. <laughs> Maybe like, mm -hmm. um, I think because these rulers from the past chart have are passed through death houses and are kind of landing here when there's like no bones found. Maybe something did happen to them between probably around 8 a.m. ish or. I'm also, yeah, I'm wondering if it could have been because look at that. Look at that moon. Also, that moon is now separating from Venus, squaring it. Something's already happened. Something's like, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of no, I get, I know exactly what you're what you're saying there, because that was kind of my same thought. Like. Something happened, I I. I I mean, in this chart, you have, you're talking about the, oh, where'd you go? I'll be right back. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so I have two cats and my other cat was in the living room and she was like frantically scratching at the office door because kitty litter. So I didn't want any 
destruction to happen. I apologize. No, I know. I was just like, oh, we're getting up now. <laughs> yeah, no, keep talking. <laughs> I, I could hear you the whole time. I'm, I'm with you. No, but, but you know, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that it, I'm thinking that they probably did die. And also just, okay, like also just taking the astrology out of it for just a second. Okay. Logic. Did we do that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, just, just logically, okay. right? We've got five okay. fucking kids. Okay. If they didn't pass, I mean, there's evidence, I think, in these charts for something to have happened to them just not in the fire, but we've got five kids. If they didn't pass, wouldn't one of them at some point have tried to make contact? Yes. And putting astrology aside and thinking logically, I also think we would have been like, we would have heard in the news back to my ancestry theory. Yeah. Hey, ancestry picked up DNA, which shows they did not fire or die in the fire. So yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I mean, it's just the, the amount of people, the amount of children we're talking about. The, the, yeah I just I, I, it would be very difficult for five children who continue to live let's say they're abducted they because some of them are old enough to remember you oh, know yeah. they would know right like yeah something's but I think even looking at these charts you know seeing this moon where it is in this chart um how it was almost, you know, a couple hours before whatever before would have been in a perfect square with Venus. It does, it does seem like something did probably happen to them, just not in the fire. I agree with that. Um, is it okay to discuss maybe what could have happened to them or is that inappropriate since we're dealing with children? <laughs> Normally I might not want to do that, but this is so, this is so uh, old. And and honestly, the yeah. family, the ones that are still living, they seem, I mean, I don't know if they'll ever see this, but they seem, they seem to be um, invested in, in trying to figure out what, what happened um and I do want to be respectful don't get me wrong but I'll, I'll just say this and and keep it at this the Saturn in cancer and a water sign is what's like flashing at me with uh -huh. you know a lot of times we look at eighth house or all this but this is, would be like bodies uh -huh. um and it's in a water sign so it makes me think this was not a fire death yeah No, I, I I get what you, I get what you're saying. I get where you're going with that. Um, if in speculation, if this was like neighbors' community, if this was like somewhat political or retaliation for the father's unpopular opinions, um, it does make me think that. I can't say it this way. Let's see. Not that they had mercy on the children, obviously, because it, it does appear something's probably happened to these children, but it does make me think they try to do it in a more merciful way than fire. Maybe I need to stop talking, but that's kind of what I'm seeing here. No, yeah. No. Yeah. No, I, I know. I know what you're saying. Without I mean, can you say it's merciful when you're like dealing with homicide? I don't know, but. Well, I mean, <laughs> Not that, not that it ever really, no, I know what you mean. It's never really merciful, but I mean, I uh, burning, burning alive, uh, that doesn't feel merciful at all. No, but Mars is right there by Saturn in a different sign, but visiting. So it also makes me think if this is a way that it happened, kind of having that not knowing exactly what happened to the children, not having remains or that it's a little bit more cruel as well. Like it's kind of like, well, well, there, uh, well, I, I was, you know, it's funny you bring that up because it is, it is very, cr okay. I don't want to say this because it's cruel to the children that, that I think ended up, you know, dying, but it's really cruel to the family. Yeah, exactly. To the because ones that are still living. Yeah, because you don't, I mean, as a parent, man, I can't, 
I don't even want, I mean, it's just something happening to your child and knowing that it happened, knowing what happened is, I would imagine, awful enough. But if I you- mean, we've done a lot of forensic cases and some of them, the the people have never been found. They're cold. And like, you yeah. know, you know, losing children is awful, but at least having like to, to have a funeral or having, you know, knowing that can that- help with closure. Right. Yeah. yeah knowing. Yeah not ever knowing is that adds an X that adds a layer of cruelty with what whoever did this did like it, it just it just does um yeah not to digress but that moon in Virgo in such a mercury sign like it something's planned out something's very thought out yes what I'm catching with that you know and um so that I mean maybe that was thought out like maybe it, it, it yeah yeah it very well yeah it very well could have been like and, I mean, and Mercury's in Sag here you know in a detriment you know it's not the best thought out plan you know it's a terrible idea but it's like there's some thinking here you know yeah that the, there is um and I would think to pull something like, I mean, to pull something like this off, there there would absolutely have, I mean, because that's a lot of, that's a lot of kids to get, I mean, to get out of, I'm wondering what, what I'm wondering if somebody actually went into the home though to get them or if, or if the, or if they were somehow lured out. Because something something that's not mentioned in the in the Wikipedia or any of the things that I've read is like um if they heard any noises from the kids up in the attic when you know the house was you would think that if 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 there was fire and you've got small you would hear some noise, right? Right. And I I wouldn't expect for them to be in the attic and this happened for their ruler to be in a sign like Sagittarius, which is like exploration and space. Yes. Like, it's not like, Oh, I'm at home in this little attic. It's like, this makes me think maybe either, either being lured, there's some, they're, they're outside or exploring something, which would tie into being lured out or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, and if they were, I don't know, I'm thinking, you know, like, if they were still awake when shit was hitting the roof, say, they might have, I don't know, though, I actually, and this is just, I kind of get the feeling that they were probably out before anything even hit the roof. I think so. Like, they weren't, they weren't there anymore. Um. Yeah. Should we look at fixed stars? Yes. And see if any. Can we, Are is it easy to go back to the prior chart? Yeah. I'm really curious what the um, fixed stars are, are on, at those degrees. Okay. Which one you want to do? I really want to look at Venus. Yep. Which is the ruler again of the children. And that would be 23 degrees. Sagi, which we got a 22 degrees and 27 minutes or 24 degrees in one minute. That's going to be the closest. Let's go with the 24 degrees. Um, We got danger, desperation, immorality, malevolence, connected with acid, poisons, accidents, catastrophes, operations. Huh. Not a good placement. No, it's not. Let's see the moon. Um, okay, so the moon is at uh, twenty one oh seven Virgo in this chart. Uh, there is one at twenty twenty one degrees thirty eight minutes of Virgo. Uh, criticism, perseverance, control, lack of imagination, honors, undesirable associates, uh, mental illness, happiness turns to despair, uh, catastrophes disease and natural disasters and catastrophes was also mentioned at 
the 24 degree fixed star of Sagittarius. So we got catastrophes. Um, yes. Hmm. And yes. Mm -hmm. I would love to look at that 16 degrees Libra as well. Okay. So we got, okay, which one's going to be closer? We got 15 degrees, 27 minutes. Um, ministers of state, custodians, treasurers, force behind the scenes, hidden masters, economists, architects, and designers. Hmm. Let me look at the other one. The other one would be 17 degrees, 39 minutes. So we're looking at a degree in 34 minutes. I think that's pretty close. Yeah. Um, Business, astrology, law, lost through friends, deceitful and shameless. Huh. Okay. Okay. That definitely sounds... makes me think that those people they knew. Yeah. And, you know, you mentioned the sun in the third house and all the third house activity, you know, neighbors and things, you know, in your neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Also, you know, Leo being on the cusp of the 11th house coming to the third. 11th house can be like, you know, friends. Yeah. <laughs> Groups, this kind of shit. Um, causes. You know, the North Node's in, um, in the first chart here is in the ninth house. I'm really with that theory that you brought up that there was this guy is making really unpopular remarks. Yeah. yeah and, and yeah, cause yeah, it is, it is in there that he, that he pissed some people off with the, <laughs> with some of the things that he was saying. Um, yeah. Cause ninth house is like foreign matters. It's philosophies. It's, you know, beliefs. yep. Yeah. Is hmm. there, um, Anything else you'd like to add about either of these charts? Um, I just had a quick inkling to look up Saturn real quick. Oh, sure. Just, I tried to find Mars and I couldn't. Uh, there's not one I don't think close enough to zero. Uh, get this. Uh, Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I got excited. <laughs> not, not excited. I meant worked up. Um, 22 degrees cancer. Okay. okay. It's called the weeping one. Okay. Love of dogs, dog bite. Death by drowning. Yeah. 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 But no, I, I think, um, is it a final thoughts time or is it a, well, final thoughts or if there's anything else that you notice about either of these charts? I'm just getting the vibe that I think these children probably did pass away. I do not think they passed in the fire. Yeah, I don't think they did either. But I, yeah, I, I, I do strongly suspect that they died af afterwards. I'm curious what, um, just thinking out loud, you know, maybe I'll look it up in my own time here. Just curious what kind of bodies of water are nearby, um, I'm not sure, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the, the, yeah, bodies of water nearby. Um, that would be something to, if they haven't explored that. Being that the first chart, we had the moon pretty much in the 12th. Um, it, it's still kind of hidden. Uh, and you had the sun at the bottom of the chart. Not sure um yeah i mean we already know remains aren't found i'm not sure they ever will be if if they were outside of the attic um that's gonna be a tough one to get the to resolve here yeah i yeah i think it that doesn't mean you give up hope i'm just saying it's yeah yeah that, that yeah that it might not ever you know this also yeah this is that's nasty funny. That's nasty. I don't, I don't like that in these kinds of, in, in these sorts of charts, I don't like that so close to the descendant. I don't, 
uh, it's definitely a danger, um, very violent. And you're looking at like a perpetrator or someone else. So there's some kind of like energy coming from outside. Like basically, no, this is not just a natural fire that broke out and five children perished. Like this is, there's something inflicted here. And I really, will, I'll say this. I do wonder if, you know, there have been, there have been some, and I don't know how verified it is, but there are, there are things that I've read where like, um, they actually feel like law enforcement may may know more than what they're saying or have more of an idea than what they ever said. I do kind of wonder about that here with that in this chart with, with Scorpio on the cusp of the, of the 10th house with that. Mercury being there. Yeah. I do kind of wonder if there was, I don't know. It could be that, you know, it could be that they, one of, one of the theories is that they knew more, but they didn't want to say anything because they didn't want to like cause them more pain. I'd like to also throw out that it's possible that they were, in bed with whoever did this i wondered that and yeah i wondered that with the first chart with all those malefic planets in the 10th house like there's something a little bit more known um or are we covering for friends or oh. you know this is 1945 <laughs> yeah know, it, like yeah it's a long time ago i mean anybody i mean i think most i think most of the people involved with the case have passed except for some of the family members that came later on, you know, that, mm -hmm. but yeah, I, I do kind of, and, and I mean, even like that, even that Mars in the six, I don't know. There, there, there is something about this that does make me wonder if, if, if law enforcement here knew more. Yeah. Um, it's icky. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I agree with that. Yeah. Really fucking tragic, though, the whole thing. I mean, Jesus Christ, I can't even. <laughs> Children, I know. Like, yeah. I yeah. can't even imagine. Um, it's cruel. It is. It is very cruel. Let me make this bigger again, because that's going to bother me. It doesn't really matter, but that's going to bug me if it's not. <laughs> 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 well, any other final thoughts? um no happy holidays everyone watching <laughs> happy holidays happy holidays um thank you for your support i hope you will subscribe to ellie's channel and give the video a like it lets us know you're enjoying the content or yeah. you know finding it interesting not enjoying what's happened to people but you know what i mean yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it, it, yeah this kind of stuff is is in, is is very interesting to look at it from this kind of an angle you know it's a it's definitely a different way to look at at true crime and things like that so yeah absolutely well where can you be found brandy well i can be found at brandyburrowastrology.com also a tarot reader and medium you wouldn't know that because we just discussed astrology but i do readings <laughs> um that can be booked there uh, also find me at brandy Burrow astrology on youtube instagram and facebook and ali just remind everyone they're at your channel but where else can they find you <laughs> um y'all can find me here um oh and because I've been throwing this out there, in early January, the name of the channel will change to Saturn Season Astrology. Just throwing this out there for anybody. Will that's... we still be saying the F word? Absolutely. Yes. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. You know I love my I'm in. <laughs> But Some people think are inappropriate. And I don't give a shit. <laughs> Our language we speak. <laughs> But you can find, yeah, here on the channel, um, on Instagram at Saturn Season Astrology, and then my website, SaturnSeason.com. Well, thank you so much for wanting to do this one with me, Brandy. Thank you for having me. Always a joy. <laughs> and um, I will- We're going to uh, walk on over to my channel now. Yes. Go do that now. <laughs> me and Ellie are going over there, so go find us there. We'll be discussing another uh, Christmas Eve family- or no, Christmas Day, actually. Uh, family tragedy. Yes. Also very strange. Very strange. Yes. So go check that out. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff over there, too. Please. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'll see y'all later. <laughs>